Hello everyone, welcome back to Christmasville. Now, um, where we left off last time, I'm pretty sure we were in a dream. Yep. And it looks like they're going to make me redo stuff from the scene that I had already done. Which is always just a wonderful feeling. But, um, we'll get through the, uh, as redo. And, uh... I want to also take a look at something while I'm doing this redo, because sometimes games will carry over uh, the time in the area, and I want to see if that carries over. Um, because if it does, these levels could become fairly impossible as time passes. And also guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Um, Obviously, the more subscribers, the more uh, ideas we'll have on the channel, but also just more conversations we can have in the comments, and, uh, you know, we can talk about possible future videos and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, if there's any games that you guys specifically want me to play on, um, especially... In the beginning of the channel, it's actually better to get into it now than it would be to wait. Because, uh, you know, once the channel starts getting a ton of subscribers, and every truck driving by doesn't sound like that, um, once the channel starts getting a ton of subscribers, I might not be able to take all of the, you know, ideas people might have, and they might be like, hey, play my game, and it's like, well, actually, there's like 50 other games that I need to play on, um, now, so... First come, first serve when it comes to game ideas. But right now we are playing Christmasville. Uh, if I remember right where I left off from the last time we were in this dream. We're trying to figure out what we need to do um, to help find Santa. And uh, after getting put through the uh, you know bright ideas of a reindeer, a bear that forgot, to, forgot his bee, um, an elf a snowman, uh, we have come up with absolutely nothing, so they were great helps, uh, to put it the obvious way. I wish they had told me that it didn't save, because, uh, I would have pushed through to finish that scene, and it looks like we're gonna have to make sure we finish a scene before we get off, but I might actually try to finish it in tonight's recording, so. Three more left? Okay, there's the coat hanger. There's three more left? Where? I don't think they used the exact same ones, because I remember the last time that this wasn't here. And it looks like the time also isn't um, carried over, luckily. So. And although I do have a headache tonight, it isn't as bad as what it was the last time I played this game. So, I'm going to go back to, so they are things from your subconscious, really, you don't need any of this, oh jeez. You just cleared a whole lot of junk out of your mind. Uh, I'm only worried about one thing, how to find Santa. Why was death mentioned in Santa's a note? Why don't you try to call her on using the magic crystal ball? Death, how? Are you stupid or something? Did you forget? Just concentrate on the person you want to call. Concentrate on death, what do you mean? Oh, I give up. Now stop thinking and concentrate. Concentrate and think about death. Good. Swap tiles around until the picture is complete. Okay, so we got like the Grim Reaper, I take it? Yep. Uh, I'd imagine that, yeah, okay, so. Let's get. Now, actually, there's a game called uh, Darksiders, I think is the name of the game. Um, I have completed that game. Uh, not on the channel, I just did that in my spare time. But um, in that game, you actually play as death. So, that's going to be over here. Um, oh, oh. Where is this? Okay. So, there's a scythe piece that I'm missing. There's like the head, or the rest of the head, I should say. And then another game that I might bring? I can't tell what I'm even trying to like. Okay, so there we go. And then... Okay. So what is that even? Okay, that's the arm. There we go. Okay. We have concentrated about death. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Is this death? 
Yes, with whom am I speaking? It's me. I wanted to talk to you about Santa. About who and who is this? Name's Arthur. I'm investigating the disappearance of Santa Claus. I, well, they told me to call you. Santa, of course. Yeah, he came to talk to me. Why don't you come over to my house and we can talk about it? You want me to? Well, I'm not sure. What's your last name? Knight? Arthur Knight? Why? Hang on a second. Arthur, don't be frightened. According to my notes, your time isn't going to be up for quite some time. Why don't you just stop by? We can have a chat. I'll even make some tea. Okay, how do I get there? You know, reindeer, you'll take you. I'll be waiting. Bye. It's about as chill as you can imagine death could be. I can't believe this is happening to me. It's about time I woke up. There's stage nine. Okay. So it looks like we're probably another ten stages. I need to call reindeer. Concentrate and think about reindeer. Swap tiles. Around. Okay. A little bit redundant, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, that is seem this seems to be the only way we can basically get in contact with anybody at this North Pole is to literally just uh, contact them via the broken crystal ball because it's supposed to help you do other things on top of what it actually does in this. Um, ah yes, my favorite kind of puzzle where you can't tell where anything is supposed to be because it's just the dark of space, of the sky. Um, context clues in this kind of a puzzle don't help at all. <laughs> I mean, all you can really tell is that there's some stars in those pictures, so they should go up here, but... Okay. And that. Nice. Okay. Times 54 seconds. Hello? Reindeer, it's Arthur. I need your help. What do you need? I need to talk with Death. Can you take me to her? To Death? Have you lost your mind? Well, maybe. I mean, this is Death we're talking about here. Aren't you afraid? Maybe a little, so can you take me over to her house? Well, sure I can, but I'm not going in with you. Visiting Death is not for people with weak hearts. Yes, but I think Death can help me find Santa. Okay, then I'll take you over to her place. I'll be over in a half an hour. By the way, while you're waiting, you might want to try to find a flute. I heard a rumor that she really enjoys listening to the flute. Funny, I would have thought that she enjoys listening to organ music. Are you kidding? She hates organ music, but I can't play the flute. That's okay, just find the flute. It should be in your room somewhere. Magic sheet notes, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Didn't she just say to come to the house? Like, why do we have to go through all of this? Find the flute and the objects that are listed on the left side of the screen. I don't understand why. She just said come over. You're not having anything to worry about. <sighs> This game could have been over in like three more chapters. <laughs> Seashell, giraffe, pegasus, bracelet, kettle, menorah, 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 oh wow, menorah, I apologize. <laughs> that is what happens when you're told to spell stuff out instead of just thinking about it before you speak. Vaz. Vase. I mean, the problem with vases in this game is that they are vases. Is that a vase? Sure. Tambourine. That's not a tambourine. Kind of looked like a tambourine. If you look at it like... You, I get what I was saying. <laughs> tambourine. Violin. And a key. A key. And we got a reindeer. Reindeer, 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 reindeer. And then that's not a flute, that's a recorder. That's a recorder. It's not a flute. That's a recorder. Uh, I did band for like three months. Looks like a nice flute. I guess I'll try to play it. <laughs> Greetings. What the, who are you? I am the spirit of Christmas. You woke me up. Is it Christmas already? Not yet, but it's right around the corner. So not only are you horrible at playing that thing, but you also woke me up early. I had no idea that I'd wake you up. That's okay. Sing me a lullaby and I'll try to fall back asleep. But I don't know the words. You people, you can't play the flute. You don't know the words to a lullaby. It's just horrible. Didn't anyone sing you a lullaby when you were a kid? Sure, my mother sang it to me and my grandmother, but I don't remember the words. Well, your time has come. Look around for a book of lullabies. There has to be one somewhere in this house. Why? Why are we assuming that? Find a book of lullabies by matching the object to their outlines on the left side. No. Not this one. What is that? Is that someone face planting? 
Or is that someone doing those, like, exercises where you put your... That's a cat. Okay. Fair enough. Um, hmm. So I'm looking for an angel. Looking for... Swans? I presume? What is that? Angel. Swans. Another cat. Someone's car is like whistling as it drives by our house. That is just beautiful. It's a giant star for a tiny tree. That is something that I would do 100% of the time. Uh, why is that? Why is that like pig outline in red? Um, so I think that's a pig. Oh, fair enough. Dancer, looks like chili peppers. Um, what is that? Oh, it's that. Okay, that's fair. Christmas tree cut out and then looks like a harp. Uh, it's not, it's that. And then behind that, a book of lullabies. Because now we're sidetracked three times. <laughs> Excellent. I found it. So what are you waiting for? Sing. Just a second. Rockin' by. I'm not doing that, sorry. Hey, not bad. Do you have any kids? What? I'm asking you if you have any kids. Not yet. Well, you're ready for them. You've got real talent. Go on, go on. Okay. Oh, well, he's sleeping now. That was a whole level. <laughs> I think he's asleep, man. I need to be more careful in this strange land. I mean, fair enough. Okay, now I need to find the magic sheet music. I wonder what it looks like. Maybe like a score of music. I'll just look at maybe like a score of music. Oh man, this guy, he's a joker. He's hilarious. What with the jokes, the funnies. Oh, brother, leave the bad jokes to me. Okay, so... Music notes. It's actually something I never, I don't think I ever really learned was music. I was in chorus for like, jeez, I don't even remember how long, <laughs> from like third grade. And uh, I don't think I knew how to read any of that music. <laughs> I just memorized what it was supposed to sound like and did my best. Uh, huh. I don't see any more. And I know there's supposed to be three left, but I mean, that kind of looks like a music note when you look at it. Give me a tip. Okay, now we're literally talking about like painted like quarter notes or eighths. I think that's an eighth from what I remember, a sixteenth. So I was one of the very rare people that, uh, was, like, not really caring about chorus when I was in it. <laughs> I just did my best. It's basically the only elective I did until high school, so... Huh. Where is... the other music now? I mean, it might be nice if you'd actually tell me. This tip does not charge fast enough. Maybe, like, a hint? Cross off half the board? Is that a music note? It's not. I'm not even going to bother. Oh, there it is. Wow. <laughs> not bad. So there, it, it does actually acknowledge how fast you finish a level. It'll give you an excellent if it's under like a minute 30 or something like that. And would you have imagined that the notes would be there all by themselves? Maybe there is some magic paint around here as well. It might prove useful at Death's House. Why would you need magic paint now? Oh, it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Sunflower, grapes, plane. I saw a plane in here at some point. Or did I? Was that a different room? Saw? Snowman? Snowman. Star? I think the most difficult part about this game is that it's hard to see the the objects you're trying to click because they don't make him like they don't make the objects stick out 
And, like, I'm not saying they should make it obvious what is something that, you know, you need to click on and what's something that isn't. It's just it kind of feels like the objects in this game blend in too well with the background. Like, it wouldn't hurt to make, you know, the, the kind of every object have an outline of sorts that is kind of a thing that I've come to expect from Find It games. Like, this, the kind of, like, this all blends in together as a set piece. And because of that, it's kind of difficult to tell where one object starts and another object begins, if that makes any sense. I think that's what I was trying to say in the other two videos, but my head was in too much pain. Um, I'm going to take a, what, what the, that was the plane? <laughs> oh, it could just not look even close to what it's supposed to look like, I mean... But I think that's basically the problem that I have with this particular Find It game. It's not that it's a bad game. If anything, it's hilarious. It's just that it is a... Uh, it's a little rough when you try to find like what you're specifically looking for. Because unlike in the other Find It games where every object has a very distinct outline almost on it, this one doesn't. Okay, hi Arthur, how are things going? <clears throat> Good, I've got the flute and the magic sheet music. Great, now climb on my back and I'll take you to Death's Place. Hey, wait a second, since you found everything so quickly, how about we look around for my horseshoe? Santa took it to his workshop to repair it after I broke it. He told me I was ready, but I didn't have time to get it. If you can find it, we'll get there twice as fast. Of course, let's look for what the, what's probably going to take the time. We're going to... never mind. Find reindeer's horseshoe by matching the objects to their outlines. I just don't understand. Death didn't say to worry. She said you had more time. If anything, you should be running over there asking when. Aren't you at least a little bit curious? <sighs> okay. I'm not going to try to reason. <laughs> this, uh, this is a video game, I think, made in 2007. So this game is, uh, it's a very nostalgic game. Now, me having, I don't think, ever played this... I feel like I would have remembered the storyline. Um, there's no nostalgia factor, but maybe some people there will be. Let me know in the comments if you've ever played Christmasville. Let me know what you think of it, too, because uh, it'd be funny to find some people who are like, you know, I love this game. This is one of my top tens. I've got some weird top tens, too, so don't worry about it. Dark Cloud is a surprisingly good PS2 game. That's the first one that pops into my head that would be really cool to complete one day on the channel. That's supposed to be a plane. I just don't... I, do, I just don't see it. <laughs> um, yeah, Dark Cloud 2 is the name of the game. Oh no, Dark Cloud 1. There, there is a Dark Cloud 2. But uh, Dark Cloud 1 is the one that I specifically like. It's a really weird RPG town building game where you find like parts of a city that got captured by monsters and you have to put the city together is this it that's it thanks arthur you know i didn't believe in you at first i thought hiring a private investigator here was a bad idea but you know you're okay now you believe in santa and i know i believe in you okay let's go i don't know why he's having that feeling i don't none of this whole thing has shown that he's been pretty much good at anything so this is Death's House. Gloomy, gray, and terrifying. Actually, it's kind of blue, but whatever. Pretty much just what I expected. Hello, Death. Oh, excellent. I don't know if it was more terrifying, the fact that she has eyes, or if it would have been less terrifying. Oh, Death, you scared me. That's what usually happens. Everyone is afraid of me. It's too bad because they shouldn't be. Sure, maybe I'm not a model or anything, but I'm still a nice person. Let's drop the formalities. Please get comfortable and feel at home. To be honest, I'm not exactly myself today. I have a lump in my throat. It's not a big deal. You're probably just nervous. Just relax. Some people are so nervous when they meet me, they get sick. Others start yelling like madmen and while others pass out. And this is just makes me sad. So sad it makes me want to cry. Oh, now I've done it. I've started crying. Oh, I should just let it out. Death, calm down. There's no need to cry. Yes, this is so awkward. Me falling apart like this. Would you f find your handkerchief? Find a handkerchief for death by matching the objects. Why? <laughs> Okay. We're going to talk about the fact that I don't think death can have the ability to cry. Never mind. Don't ask questions. Find the handkerchief. 
Seems like a nice person. I mean, after all, they're just doing their job. Um, but yeah, so back to Dark Cloud. So it's a game where you build a town around these objects that you find in a dungeon that was, like, the town was ripped apart by this evil creature, this evil wizard, I think. Really interesting game. A very bizarre game. I remember buying it just... Like, we bought it off of, like, a whim. I was like, ah, oh, just a game we haven't played before. Let's give it a try. And it was actually, like, very surprisingly good. Should bring it on the channel. I think they made a PlayStation 3 remaster of it. Have to do it at a, once we move and stuff. Okay, so... What am I even looking for? We got, like, this dragon heart thing. We got this, uh... Just, let's just get a tip early so we can find one of them that's up there. Okay, hands. There. Like, that thing, yep. Okay, great, now we... <laughs> now I need the tip. Um, okay, that's that. There we go. And hand holding, like, a torch and a handkerchief, which I literally could have found in like two seconds if I had just started off from there. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Mediocre at best. Okay, here you are. Thank you. Oh, if only someone would say, Hi, Death, good to see you. How are you today? If you took the eyes out, I probably would have said that myself. I don't know why. The eyes just throw me off. There, there, Death. Everything's going to be okay. There's no need to cry. Tell me, Arthur, why isn't anyone ever nice to me? Is there something wrong with me? Mmm... Not necessarily. Everything's fine, you're okay, it's just that you're death, you know? No, I don't understand. I'm death, you're Arthur, so... Well, when you show up, it means time's up. That's how it is, and that's why everyone's afraid of you. What a bunch of idiots. There's nothing to fear. I just walk with everyone as they go, so they don't get lost. That's my job. People just don't understand. People think that if I've shown up, that I've come to collect someone and take them somewhere. Well, you know, maybe I just stop by for a quick chat. Fair enough. Maybe you're just having, like, you know, a coma. In fact, I'm always the one visiting other people. I wish someone would come and visit me for a change. That would be weird. Santa's pretty much the only person who just stops by, but he's a pretty busy guy, so he doesn't come around all that often. Arthur, did you bring a flute with you? Will you play it for me? Well, how did you know? I just do. Please play it for me. Organize the notes on the score. Okay. That's a puzzle. Thank good. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> Thank God, because uh, if this wasn't a puzzle, I... Oof. <laughs> Here's the notes. Organize them where they belong. I'll be here all day randomly clicking. And... There's the outline. Oops, that was already... Okay. Oops. Is there like a way to turn this? There was. <sighs> Is that not done? What? What isn't done? What? Huh? What? Is there a skip? I don't understand. What isn't done? Oh, it's in here. Okay. There. Don't put stuff in between the music notes, okay? I'll play. If it's easy, then I'll try. <laughs> if it's easy, then I'll try. That's a fair statement. If, if, if it requires any amount of strain, count me out. But, if it's easy, you got it. Excellent, thank you. I feel better already. It reminds me of Mozart. Did you Do you remember his concerto for flute and orchestra in C major? It evokes death. Why are you so down and gloomy? Is your life really that terrible? It, it's literally death. 
You know, it's just sort of worked out that way. Unfortunately, I look just as gloomy as everyone thinks I am. I would be happy to change, but it really is difficult to break down other people's stereotypes. It, I'd be very happy if someone could help change other people's opinion of me. I think I might be able to help you. I brought some paint. Let's repaint your house a little bit. Okay. I'll let you be the designer. Here's the paint. So I haven't painted in such a long time. Okay, I'm ready to paint everything. I just need you to hand me a thing or two. Find the objects to be painted. Okay. So we got a corset. We got a crown. Uh, that kind of looks like a crown. Or is that a tiara? Can't really tell because it's, you know, cursed. <laughs> um, crown. Not seeing it. You got a chessboard. You probably use this. People are usually like, okay, you like chess? Like, okay. What is that? The top hat? That is a big top hat. A uh, pillow. A wig? Where is there a wig here? There is no way that there was a wig in this place. Where is there a wig? A mirror. A uh, mirror. Decorative box. I don't... Where is there a cat? There it is. Goblet and gloves. A goblet? Where are there gloves? Handcuffs, gloves. That's a mirror. Okay. Chess games. He told you. Just use the... Why are you painting a chess board? <laughs> no, the chess is... The one board, or the, uh, uh, oof. the chess board is the one thing that you don't need to paint. That's, uh, that's how the, that's a wig? I thought that was an arm. Oh, gosh. I mean, you don't really need to paint the shield. Shields being a steel color is completely natural. Okay. We got that was really inspiring and satisfying. Okay, let's put all those things back in place. Okay, so I think we're gonna stop here for this video. Um, it looks like we got about three videos left of this, possibly. So, uh, hope you guys are enjoying. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Let me know what you guys are thinking about Christmas film and what you would rate it as of right now. Bye, everyone.